witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. And Seath the Scaleless betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. Seath the Scaleless is a crazy bastard. Thus began the age of Dude, who are you to judge? You have never put him. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers. And man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. Damn, they're just loading screen. Okay. <laughs> yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land... The undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate. Bro, I'm nasty as shit. You're damn right. So, um, it's funny because the, the majority of the, of the story for this game, like the initial story, is in that, like, intro cutscene. Uh, it's cool to it's cool to talk about, but you know when I discuss it, I'm fucking like all over the place about it because you know I don't actually know what I'm talking about. Oof, a fat roll. Look at that guy, Jeremy. Yeah, so, um, was, I guess, just a little explanation. I'll do my best, but I am no, uh, I don't know. I'm not the most educated. So before, before the flame, or the first flame was, like, discovered, it was just, to my knowledge, uh, just, just, this, this weird time in, in, history where the world was like unformed 
That's what that's what the lady said. And there's a chance that like people like death didn't even exist until they found the first flame. That's why like, like Grave Lord Nita was the first of the dead. So he, he wants to like spread death or remember what reason? Yeah, see I'm already like not doing the best job. <laughs> Um. But he, but he just said, uh, heat and cold, life and death, and, uh, light and dark. So, he, he's the, the Lord of Death. Then the Witch of Isolith is the, uh, Lord of Life. And Gwyn is the Lord of Sunlight, and obviously the, the Pygmy is the Lord of Dark. And, uh... Yeah, it's kinda, kinda neat. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it does overload you with a lot of fucking information. Like, I'd have to, I would have to watch that cutscene over and over again, and like write down all that shit if I really wanted to actually remember all of it. I know the information and I can recall it whenever I, I, I uh, whenever I'm like faced with it, but I can't just recall it off the top of my head. Yeah, we're not gonna fight him just, just yet. That's the Asylum Demon though, that'll be our first boss. What the fuck? Yeah, so, uh, I played on PS5 my first time playing, and I I already pay for the Xbox service because I like Game Pass, and I kind of grew up on Xbox, so I didn't play online. I didn't know the uh, online features even like looked like that. That you could see other people in there just walking around. He kind of spooked me. A cat. <laughs> I don't like having the nasty ass fat roll, so I'm gonna remove my helmet and my gauntlets. Actually, let me see, maybe I could wear my gauntlets. No, I cannot. That's okay. We don't need it. Look at him in there. Well, let's see, uh, some item descriptions here. The Dark Sign. The Dark Knight, the, uh, the Dark Knight. The Dark Sign signifies an accursed undead. Those branded with it are reborn after death, but will one day lose their mind and go hollow. Death triggers hey. the Dark Sign, which returns its bearer to the last bonfire recipe. Uh, whatever. Key items. It's just a key. Nothing special about that. Old Witch's Ring. Old ring from an old witch. Oh, really? Uh, engraved minutely with indecipherable script, but seemingly useless. That's all we have to read so far. Playing uh, Elden Ring. I haven't beaten Elden Ring yet, but oh, dude, we got we got our first uh, we got our first little bot in in the chat. Uh, hi, I want to offer promotion of your channel. Viewers, followers, use chatbots. Price is lower than any competitor. 
Shut the fuck up. Yeah, that's that's right up my alley. Yeah, I'm glad I watched this stream. Here's our first little NPC. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon. Then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? I just read your title. <laughs> Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, make a pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. Netflix series, How to Become a Pirate. Six episodes? This came out a long time ago. I've Shut the six. fuck up. Well, now you know. I'm playing Dark Souls. I don't want to hear you talk. Die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. If you're not talking Dark Souls, don't Here, talk. Take this. <laughs> An Estus flask. An undead flask. Fucking money, I don't want to talk. Oh, and this. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. Estus Flask. The undead treasure these dull green. They're green? Anyways, dull green flasks filled with Estus at bonfire. Fills HP. The Estus Flasks are linked to the fire keepers. The dark tales also make reference. An emerald flask from the keeper's soul. Uh, she lives to protect the flame and dies to protect it further. Yeah. Our little pal is uh, dead in here now. Later. I completely forgot jump attacks were in the game. I've never fucking done that before. <laughs> I knew you could do them, I didn't know how to do them though. Alright, we're gonna go this way because there's more enemies in here. Just more XP. Shields are so busted in, the, in these games. You really can't just sit and block. Can't block this guy, but who cares? It's so easy. Okay, I can I can block this guy. Get back. It, it is a little you jarring said, going from. That. No, it's jarring going from playing Elden Ring to this because this is much slower. That hitbox was kind of gross. I do suck. I got my ass kicked for no fucking reason. Uh. Right, big Pilgrim's Key. Key to the inner door of the Undead Asylum, Main Hall. The big key belonging to a chosen undead pilgrim. But this chosen undead knows not what this pilgrimage has in store.
Opa. Key to the iron bars on the east side of the second floor of the North Undead Asylum. Yeah, because I know where that is. Look how big my hands are. Holy shit. Huge ass hands. They were only big when I was opening the door though. Go look around a bit for some uh some souls and shit. So I'm pretty sure there are a few items here. I think we're ready to go. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. There's so many kingdoms in the Dark Souls story that start with the letter L. I kind of get them confused. Like, uh, Lordran, Londor, Anor Orlando, Lothric. And Lordran, level up, and kindle at bonfires. Here we are, Firelink Shrine. It's one of the coolest areas in this game. When I play these games, I like to do pretty, uh, pretty balanced distributions of my souls because I think it's more pleasing to look at. <laughs> but um, I don't know. We we have a little fun. So, it, in Dark Souls 1, strength is, like, reign supreme. Almost everything else is not worth even, like, leveling. You could play this game with a strength build and you will do just fine the entire time. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, maybe I would do something like that on a different playthrough, but this is my first playthrough on PC, so... Fuck it, we ball. Uh, yeah, that looks good. And I'm gonna consume... Oh wait, just kidding. Bonfire's already kindled. We're gonna talk to Crestfallen Cameron. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. 
But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. I fucking love this game. Well, I already feel great. <laughs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below in the ruins of the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happens. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on, but I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land, the undead. <laughs> Talk to him again. Ah, your face. You're practically hollow. But who knows? Going hollow could solve quite a bit. <laughs> Shut up. Get off my screen. Ooh, what? Restoring your humanity? Well, there are a few ways to go about it. Collect it bit by bit from corpses. Or you can butter up a cleric and get yourself summoned. And the quickest way, although I never do it, is to kill a healthy undead and pillage its humanity. Coveting thy neighbor is only human. After all, <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at? Don't try anything clever. You might regret it. Hmm? What? You want to hear more? Oh, that's all we need. Another inquisitive soul. Well, listen carefully, then. One of the bells is up above in the undead church, but mm. the lift is broken. You have to climb the stairs up the ruins and access the undead burrow through the waterway. The other bell is back down below the undead burrow, within the plague-infested Blight Town. But I die again before I step foot in that cesspool. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell, what is it now? <laughs> you ask too many questions. I'll talk to you again. I'm not up for chatting. Right. That's his last little line. He'll have more to say later, but not presently. So we're gonna take a tour around Firelink Shrine. We went down the little stairs there and or here, where there's a, uh, a response she cannot speak. This is where the, uh, what is it? Fucking fire, fire link maiden. I forget what they're called. <laughs> Shrine maiden. I don't know. Whatever. She's the person who keeps the bonfire lit. But she has no tongue, so she can't actually talk. And no. So we take our firekeeper souls to reinforce our Estus flasks. So that's what she's used for. Take a little walk down here. And there's an elevator. Which would be a shortcut to Blight Town. Normally. Or what I would normally use as a shortcut to Blight Town, but I don't have the master key. I didn't bring it this time, so it's not. It takes me to a uh, late game area, so I don't want to go there. Obviously, the place sucks. Um, we're around this way. I forget how slow you move for, uh, in comparison to the other games. It's weird. You know, Ed from The Walking Dead is my hero. I'm who gonna make him is, my. Who the fuck is Ed? Harold's husband. Oh. <laughs> Wait, he's in My Hero Academia? <laughs> what? Isn't that what you said? He's in My Hero? 
though, I said he is my hero. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a little bastard. Yeah, you just gotta respect the way he treats his family. That verbal. So, this is the path that leads to the catacombs, and I don't want to go there just now because these enemies down here are pretty damn strong, those skeletons. But I'll go there later for sure. Uh, I, I always go there like way later than I should. But I guess I, in my other playthrough, so I've only played the game once, so not always. Um, I always end up just doing that like way later than I should. I feel like you're supposed to do the first bit of the catacombs after you beat uh Quaylag. It's time to look at the list of NPCs online because I don't know this guy's questline. Petrus of Thorland, that's his name. Uh, Petrus is a blonde cleric who is waiting for Lady... Uh, Ray of Thorland and her two bodyguards at Firelink Shrine. Yeah, I don't care. What's his quest? He's got a quest, right? Something like that. Available to, available upon arriving in Lordran. Countered after heading up the stairs in Firelink Shrine towards the elevator leading to the church in the undead parish. Uh... Griggs of Venheim, a silly ass name. Interesting. Okay. Ooh! 
Oh my god, I thought it was gonna fucking hit him. That scared the shit out of me. Why is it windowed? Doesn't look windows for you guys, but hold on, hold on. That was interesting. I'm not gonna talk to him now. Talk to him later, I guess. Or actually, what's my soul level? Eight. So I need I need 800 souls before I can come back and talk to him. Right, this is all I'm gonna get for now. There will be more later. Ooh. Oh, bro, I thought I got stuck. Still fat rolling with my gloves. So I'm that off again. But time to make progress with the game, finally. We're gonna go this way first. this shit out before I go get items. What the fuck? He <laughs> moaned like that. Oops. Death number one. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. The, the later games, the, the jump button is left stick. So I just ran off the edge there. Oopsies. Well, I might see if I can actually... Change that. Oh fuck, I don't think I can. No way, jump. Left stick. There we go. Oops. Oh, that's a lot better. Can't believe I died that quick. That one doesn't count. What the hell? What's Dilbert doing? Jumping around like that. Oh, good attempt. Okay. Actually. Now I'm gonna go back and talk to him. So now I have enough souls to buy information. Guess that's how you start a quest line, I guess. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. 
I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance. But I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. This guy is so goofy. Oh my. You again. Oh, I know. How about this? I have to await my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? Very well. Then first, a covenant with the gods. Now let me share my miracles. Only their ultimate effectiveness will be determined by your efforts and your faith. Learn his gesture. Shrug. Yeah, I see all this? I will not be buying any of it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to him again, though. My companions are Milady and her young knights. She is young, but burdened by an undead mission. We are her defenses to keep her from harm. An undead mission? Regrettably, I cannot share that with you. But you are my pupil. Perhaps if you show your faith. Very well. I can surely tell you, of all people, undead clerics are given a mission to seek kindling. That bell ringing kindling is real annoying. Is the art of feeding bonfires with humanity. Through kindling, we shall one day be granted magnificent powers. Very well. I undead clerics are kindling is the through kindling. Oh, we already know all that. Come right, again. Cool. The effectiveness of the teachings. I guess there's some information. <laughs> Here we are, it's time to make this jump yet again. That's the first time I've ever actually failed that jump. But, it's because I pressed the wrong button, not because I actually messed it up. It's still my fault though, of course. I'm not gonna lie, I did not see that motherfucker. I had no idea he was there. Here's our first little level, the Undead Berg. I guess second if you count the uh, Asylum. There's quite a bit to explore here. I don't know what, uh... Special items are here though.
right. Look at those guys. Trap House Terry. There was somebody down here. I wonder what happened. I think the Undead Berg is such a fun starter level. Super reminiscent of Bolataria. Especially how these enemies behave. Like some of their attacks are ripped straight out of uh, out of Demon Souls. Fuck! I forget how you even get in there. It's gonna bug me. I've gotta figure it out now. What the fuck? Something here, right? It's right here. That's such a weird pathway. I never see it. It's not even hidden either. I'm just a fool and I miss it every time. Right, that's this little bit cleared out. It's time to move on. I forget that's not where you're supposed to make that jump from. Oopsies. Bro, he like whipped around. You see that shit? That was crazy. Wooden shield. I didn't actually read uh, the descriptions for the weapons I already have. Wooden shield, uh. Vertically ah. elongated wooden shield decorated with a white dragon. Wood shields are lighter than metal shields, but with lower physical damage reduction. Yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. Go ahead and throw it away. What? Throw it away? Go ahead and throw that shield away. Nah. Medium metal shield uh, decorated with a tower, symbol of protection. Uh, hilt of this lost sword was found discarded in the undead asylum. Only slightly better than one's bare hands. 
and not recommended for extensive use. Be certain to find a replacement quickly. Broadsword. Uh, the wide blade of this straight sword emphasizes slicing and has no thrust attack. The horizontal sweeping motion makes this sword effective against multiple enemies. Cool. Knight helmet. Helm of a lower rank knight. Despite the thin metal used, the grooved textures give it added protection. Yeah, it's gonna say the same thing for the other armor pieces. Let's read this helmet, though. Helmet worn by hollow warriors. Although it is made of iron, it is old, battered, and worn out. It is wise to wear a sturdy form of head protection against arrows and other physical threats. Oh, ring of Sacrifice. This mystical ring was created in a sacrificial rite of Velka, the goddess of sin. Swear will lose nothing upon death, but the ring itself breaks. Velka is a very interesting character in the lore, because I know fucking nothing about her. How many? I have eight of these? Jesus. I'm jealous. I love pizza. <laughs> well now, you seem to have your wits about you. Hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything. Souls. For sale. Everything's for sale. <laughs> British bastard. He doesn't have anything I want. So. <laughs> Sorry, man. I don't give a fuck. Ooh. Ooh, actually, I do kind of want this. <laughs> These are very convenient items. I wonder what... What's, what sword should I run? The uh, black one. No, no, no. Sh Jacob, should I, should I run a scimitar or should I run a regular broadsword? Not a rapier. Definitely not a rapier, because this is a stupid baby weapon. You should use the dagger. I'm gonna read this item. It's a hard weapon to use. It takes skill to use that weapon. I'm not using but the damn dagger. I am a fucking coward. But well, but fuck you. You're a this coward. cowardly playstyle play is going to win the game. You're stuck in Blighttown, jackass. I don't want to hear it. Guess what? I'm not using the dagger. What's your argument? You're missing, out. <laughs> you're, you're missing out, dude. I'm not missing out. You sound like you're yeah, missing you are. out. No, I'm not. When I restart the game, I will be using the dagger. Guaranteed. I think I'll, I'll wait to find a weapon. This stuff, I don't really want to buy those. But. I'll take the residence key for sure. Actually, I might, I'm gonna farm some souls. Why not? I wanna buy all three of those things. Those are all good. Why don't you level up instead? I don't need to. Hold on. Actually, I have a bunch of these. Oh yeah. These are good. These are good items. A lot of the stuff you uh, can do at Elden Ring, but just not in this. I, I didn't even know he like sold shit like this. Thank you. Come back. Thought he was just some dillweed. All right. I need three thousand souls. I'll come back.
<laughs> Bro, he let that happen. <laughs> Silly bastard. Bro, I don't know what it is. Maybe I don't have, like, a button bound for it. I don't know how to slide down ladders in this game. Like, it flat out does not let me. Let's see. Oh, it ain't those buttons. It's not any D-pad buttons. I just don't know how. I know you can. I've seen people do it before. Accidentally, like, jerk. Oh shit. Whatever. I'm farming souls, so it's okay, it's okay. I accidentally jerked my fucking stick but right as I went to make the jump, so it jumped like the last place I wanted to go. I can clear this shit out pretty fast. I've already had two stupid ass deaths. I'm happy I, I didn't use my humanity. So I was thinking about using it. Playing with fire right now. Bro, he is off the edge. Bye bye. Get the fuck! Badass from us both us. I kinda want the straight sword so I can do jabs. Okay, I I can't hear anything in here. I gotta get out now. Okay. Kinda want the straight sword so I can do jabs. Because when you're in a corridor like that, a weapon like this, you can't fucking swing around or anything. It's just asking for trouble. I'm having so much fun. That's not what I wanted to do. Whatever that works out to. There we go. Close to the wall there, I didn't want a chance. Swinging and swinging and dinging. I mean, dude, you're such a brick shitter. I'm such a brick shitter? Yeah. No, dude. My name is Andrew. No, what? What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. Proved you wrong there, huh? Elation. I did it.
Crossbow. Crossbows are so stupid. Because they don't they don't attribute scale. So I don't know why you'd ever use them. They can never actually get in like serious damage. Oh, this motherfucker! <laughs> swing around, swing around that big ass thing like that. Silly. Right, just to get a few more souls for that last convenience item. Drop it down. Oh, holy moly! like that didn't give me souls so they survived down there i forget that's like a playable space oh no i remember that's a playable space this was this one with one of the worst boss encounters they've ever fucking made in this game it is like genuinely really terrible there aren't a lot of things that, that they make that are just bad in these games that that is one of the few Finally gonna light this bonfire. Uh, but I'm also oh while I'm here, humanity it's super useful and it's rare, so I need to not use it too much. But uh, it's a good healing item as well, so I'm gonna put it in my hot bar. I'm doing this because I'm gonna upgrade this bonfire or whatever. I'm gonna kindle it. Reverse hollowing. So now that I'm human, I'm going to play as cautiously as I possibly can because that's obnoxious. It's obnoxious losing your humanity. Alright. I'm gonna start calling you Dennis from now on. Okay. That's cool. That's cool, yeah. Right. Sounds awesome. We gotta call me. Daddy. <laughs> Don't make me you fucker. I'll call you your name is Garth. How about that? Does Garth sound cool? <laughs> oh. No. Garth ain't a bad name. No, because Ares is gonna have a field day with that name. Okay, but her name is nope. Ares. <laughs> That's so bad. That's so fucked up. I don't know, dude. You're right. Everything's fucked up with her name. Just kidding. Now, Ares is a cool name. I would like to be named Ares. I would. But the areas with an E instead of an I because I'm the god of war. Ow. It's a lot edgy. It does have an E. Never has to split. <laughs> <laughs> Aries without an I, I mean. Aries without an I. Aries. <laughs> That's like a D's nuts Things name. Getting treacherous in these parts. A horrible goat demon has moved in below. And up above, Fucking capper demon. Drake and a bull demon. <laughs> if you stick around this place, it might end up being your grave. <laughs> I'm gonna put my headset in the oven. Yeah, That's I'm not here to check. We talk business. Tell me how it sounds. We talk, we talk business. Yeah, I'm not. We. Oops. Go and. You tell me to go and fall off a cliff. I just spent three thousand souls on what you were selling me. Fuck you. What's his name? Uh, I don't know, David. That's like your average David behavior. Fucking asshole. I can confirm. Oh, 
We'll be going here later. It's a shortcut. It's going in the oven. Well, maybe. Oh my god, I thought I got invaded with that fucking- there's just a blood stain on the ground. I get so scared. If I got invaded right now, with like literally nothing at the beginning of the game, I would get so fucked up. I haven't been invaded in a long time. I haven't been invaded in long. And I didn't even know that that guy invaded me. I thought it was- I thought it was just an, an NPC that like appeared out of nowhere. Computer says it'll be here on Friday. So this, this little balcony here is very uh, goofy because there's nothing actually up here. You could just come up here. It's, it's an easier way down, but we take slight fall damage from that. So it ain't a safe way down. What the fuck are they doing? Right. Nice. Now, now what's down there is rather frightening. There's a chance I will not beat the enemy there because he's very tough. So I'm. Tempted to not do it, but like, also I'm confident I could probably beat him. Here he is. Bro, he just fucking full 316 in like a second. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh well. I should have got more ground. But I know that, that type of enemy. He's anything like the guys in fucking Elden Ring. He was gonna follow me to the end of the earth. Anything like Elden Bling, that guy's so racist. <laughs> I wanna play that game so bad, that game looks so funny. <laughs> I'm excited. It's gonna be the next huge Souls like. <laughs> Just as big, too. Game for the year, Elden Bling. Tyrone actually walks up on the stage to accept the game of the Euro War. Imagine a game so good that the 
alternate copy is just as good. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's not a copy, bro. Completely different game. It's like the spin-off. <laughs> Man, Ed is so cool, he's my hero! Woohoo! And the way he hit his vibe, that oh, man, no! Shut my up. Hero. You always have to tarnish my streams with your rot. You're a plague on society. Average Ed fan. Oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there is a single eggplant on the planet. You'd probably be surprised. <laughs> That's if like you've met one. Oh wow, what a horrible spot for my fucking bloodstain. How do you know if you're underleveled or like underpowered for an area? Ah! <laughs> oh, the winter. Oh my God! <laughs> okay, this is a better place to fight him. All right, nice backstab. Please, for the love of God, fucking backstab. Whatever, I'll do it the hard way. How you have enough stamina to continue to block him is beyond me. This was not a good place to heal. <laughs> I'm gonna retreat back here. Guess this is a good spot to fight this guy. I've got time to heal again. Just kidding. This guy I didn't actually lose any health, I don't think. Bro, these backstabs are not going off. Did you respawn the guy? Fuck that- mm. Ah, that fucking guy showed up and he just disrupted everything. It's- It's really- I'm, I'm irritated because... My- My backstabs are not going off. I'm getting behind him and everything, it's just not doing it. Also, 
so I am like severely underleveled, but it's okay. I got up that fucking half health. I'm gonna have to do all that again. Actually, you know what? I do have a bunch of souls. Should be a little stronger now. Scales with C scale, like with strength and dex, so should do a little more. They cannot hit me from where they're hitting me, but... Got to come down and kill this guy again. So he will protect me from miles away. Dude, what's taking you so long to kill Lord of Cinder Gwyn? You already know where he is. <laughs> no, bro. It ain't that simple. It, it is that simple, dude. What? See, why did I backstab him? I, I was like to his. I was to his left. But that backstab went off. But when I actually get behind the, the knights, it doesn't. Shit, I don't know how long that's been sleeping. Kill these guys while I'm here too. I'm getting humanity from this. I don't know why. I feel like normally you don't. God, dude, face as this flax. 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 Base Estus Flasks is such hogwash. I don't even heal half HP. So whatever, I don't mind. See, I could try and parry him. But the parry times are, are really weird. At least I'm not a fan of them. I 
get out of that arena. <laughs> Hallways two, close quarters. Up here works. Dude, <laughs> that 360. What was that notification? So, uh, Nick joined. Oh. Bro, I am live streaming. You are not welcome here. Don't be, don't be saying nothing. Also, I beat the first Nate guys, nigga. Yeah, they already. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, ain't I'm gonna here, assume man. there's multiple of them. Because I saw something on TikTok, and that wasn't the same one that I thought, so... I feel like the eight of those dudes. Nah, I know which one, I know which guys you're talking about, I hate them. I think they're terrible. But, um, if you're not talking Dark Souls, bro, you ain't talking. I'm, I'm talking streaming, I'm like streaming that. Dark Souls right now, so we're only talking about Dark Souls. And Walking Dead, because that... We all know that the walkers originated in, uh, whatever the, wherever the hell Dark Souls is. <laughs> or, uh, Mordrin. Who's uh, Mordrin? Right, anyways. Bye. Bye-bye, Nicholas. Bye-bye. What? Mm. I'm killing this Black Knight. He's dying. I you already killed him. No, I got him super low just then. But, because I'm doing, not doing any damage. So, yeah, I'm grinding souls on the run back to him each time, so I'm not, like, upset. But, it, I'm, I'm really underleveled for him. Because he's an enemy you're supposed to come back and fight later. Of course, I ain't want to do that. Waste, waste time. I like what I'm doing now isn't also wasting time. <laughs> He's got a good starter ring, which is kind of what I want. But by the time I do actually kill him, I'm gonna have hella levels. So keep having to run back through here. I'm not wasting humanity either. So we're good. dropped an item. Alright, here we go. Time for, what is this, round three? your ass up here.
<laughs> These guys are so bullyable. Okay, but he can also turn around 360 degrees, so... It's okay, we're chillin'. Out of that corner. That was a little interesting. Okay, why is it not backstabbing anymore? Come on. Ho 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 ho. See, why did that backstab? That's what I want to understand. Oh my god! <laughs> Welp. Welp. <laughs> Is this a stray sword too? No, it's a great sword. Oh, that's unlucky. I can't use it. 20 strength and 18 dex. It's a pretty far off, but that'll be a good weapon. Later. So, okay. This longsword isn't as, uh, it's not as strong as the broadsword by, uh, like, four damage, or no, three damage, but it's got a thrust, which I prefer, so I'm gonna run this, set it out, that other sword. Now we can go get this ring over here, because the fucking goblin garret ain't blocking the way. I believe I got the Black Knight sword. It's a blue tier stone ring. It's a good starter ring. Uh, the rare gem called Tear Stone has an uncanny ability to sense imminent death. This blue tear stone from Katarina boosts the defense of its wearer when in danger. It's not great, but it's a good starter ring for sure. Uh, oh, hold on. There might be an item over here. I don't remember. It's no secret passageway. I know that much. Hate hitting them in one swoop. Oh, yeah, if I would have backstabbed them there, I could have just kicked them off. Interesting. I, 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 I completely forgot he does that. I was gonna just run into the Taurus demon, because that's... The boss is right up here, not through this door, but, uh, up here. I was gonna just run straight to him, but seven flasks was already risky as shit, so I'll just come back. souls to consume, so we're just gonna go right in. Well, be on our way. Still can't wear gloves.
sorry. I'm just gonna run. We're in a whole ass. for letting me pass, everybody. <laughs> Draymond Green from the NFL. Yeah, you really want to fight Draymond Green, huh? Yeah, he's over here. Should I fight him legit? <laughs> Should I kill him? Fight him legit. I hate fighting this boss, not gonna lie. I took damage from that, by the way. God damn it! <laughs> so dumb. You missed. Yeah. I thought he'd be further out, so I jumped. I shouldn't have done that. Whatever, we will have a mighty duel. Too mighty to keep running away. What the Bro, get your dick out of my face. <laughs> get your face out of this dick, bro. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Oopsies, did I do that? Whoa, 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 no boss all? Whack. Did I? And I just didn't notice. Your character looks like a dork. It's my genuine reaction to that statement. Look, the sun.
I am Soler of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. Do you find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> Aha! So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined, in a land brimming with hollows. Could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Yeah, I'll help you. It pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old fading in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> oh, hello there. The sun is a wondrous body. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. He's so cool. I mean, look at his face. See his eyeballs blinking in there. Sorry, I'm a. Would you rather live in the Attack Knight. on Titan world or the, <laughs> or the Walking Dead world? Attack on Titan or the Walking Dead? Definitely the Walking Dead. Wa walkers really ain't that big a deal. Titans are easier to deal with. No, they're not. No, they no, are. the fuck they ain't. Dude, do you know how dead? The wall. You know how dead everybody on Paradise would be. Okay, but that, that's not the point. They're the ones who decided to run out there and get killed. Nah. It, they had everything they needed inside the walls. So all they had to do was. No, the motherfuckers stronger, kicked out. You're, you're an idiot. Their dumb religion. Did, did you did you forget about what episode one even is? Episode one, it, it, a, a bunch of people come to, to kill all of them. It ain't their fault. Shit happens. <laughs> yeah, then you die. You die immediately from the from the most terrifying the fucking dead, creature ever. The walkers are like blocking everything you need, and eventually they're just gonna run out. That's not the point. You can return you to you can return to simple the walls. No, no, you can't, because there are people trying to kill can. you. They're doing just fine. There are people who no, no, they weren't. You're you're missing the point. The point is not that they were They're doing just fine. Just fine. Yeah, until Bertolt showed up. Bertolt showed up in the Attack on Titan world. Maybe in an alternate universe where where they never decide to go and raid Paradise for its resources. Maybe then it might be a good world to live in. Not before. Nah, dude. Living in that Eldian camp would be a dream come true. God damn, bro! I didn't think you'd do that much damage to me. Oh, that's just another player in there. That's who that was. 
throws an NPC at that bonfire. I hate this dragon so much. He's in such a horrid spot. Okay. Here's here's my plan though. I've gotta grind more souls, cause I never have enough. I hate to use this shitty ass crossbow, but I don't really have a choice. Unless that guy is selling a bow and arrow in there. I've been streaming for an hour and 40 minutes. I've made like no progress. <laughs> I fought I fought the Asylum Demon and the Taurus Demon. That's it. Is he selling a bow? He is. Short bow. He scales with dex. That's pretty good. I need to buy arrows as well. How expensive are arrows? Only 10. Oof. How much for the bow? 1,000. I want to buy 50 right. standard arrows. And no, I'm gonna go get 1,000 souls. I'm gonna let all of them climb up because they don't die if they fall down there. Jacob, can you look up if you can chop off the Taurus Demon's tail? Yeah. For a price. All right, one blowjob. Okay. From who? Yours truly. Alright. Prostate Perry. <laughs> Red. Put my souls right here. The 
fuck? Oh. There's a five percent chance to get the demon's great axe. Yeah, cause I got that great axe my first playthrough. I remember. Damn, well, I got lucky. I'm thirsty, man. Mm, I'm drowning. Mm, 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 and I found him. Just got my pants all wet. I'm pissing now. <laughs> what the fuck? That's what the song says, you don't remember? Pissing my mouth. No, I don't remember that lyric. <laughs> pissing my- I didn't say pissing my mouth. What the fuck? What the derp? <laughs> what the derp are you talking about? Bro, I'm having so much fun. Wait, did I buy it? Oh yeah, I did. I thought he scammed me. I got my swagger back. Oh, actually, I can level up. Here's, here's the little trick here. Fuck, hold on, I forget the angle for this. It's okay, I'm not gonna roll here anyways. Remember if I sh well, I can't shoot it from here, so it must be this one. been a bit a long time ago. What are you doing? Leave that dragon alone. Stink at this. Holy shit. Damn. Holy moly. I 
How, what? What are you doing? Oh my god! Uh... There we go. You can shoot off his tail. It gives you a good straight sword. It doesn't scale with anything, I so it's it, not it. But I didn't shoot it off. I actually cut it off the guy while fighting. I don't know what. I don't know what you're doing. Coward. Coward. Well, I'm gonna cut off the tail and then I'm gonna go fight him. I'm not. I'm not gonna fight him like this the whole time. I just want his tail gone, and then I'm gonna use his own sword against him because it's the best weapon I can hold right now. Yeah, I ran to the end of the bridge, waited for him to get back on top, and I ran out, fought him on the bridge, cut off his tail, and ran away. I didn't kill him. I'm gonna go to bit like four or five. I only need a few hours to see the I'll go up at 5 a.m. Or I will go up at 10 and at 10. I'll go up a few hours later. I'll probably speed up the process by shooting his tail there again. What the hell would happen if we stopped using calendars? If we if we just stopped kept keeping track of what like what the year and day is in the month, would there just be a period in history where nobody knows what the hell happened? Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. I mean that should happen, but I don't know when. <laughs> I can tell you. Maybe it was like 2006. Maybe it was 8004. They've been using the same, like, reticle for aiming for ages. Yeah. I like it. Damn, bro, what is this? 22 arrows so far that I've shot? So, maybe 30. I missed a bunch. I wish he would just stay there. I wish he wouldn't get up to move every time. serious is it 16 strength almost oh not using it just yet how much worse is it 
Minus 138. Yeah. I'll be using it. That's disappointing. Damn, I thought I was like way fucking closer to him. Yeah, fuck this dragon. <laughs> it's funny, they put a bonfire right over there. Like, like how the fuck are you actually supposed to like fight this thing? Kill him. Stupid. Yeah. But I feel like if I kill him, I'm just gonna be shooting him with my bow and arrow. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm not wasting my time. I got what I wanted from him, so I don't need to fight him anymore. Just gotta live with this poison. Awesome, that's so fucking sick.
Got a little hairy there. Shave it, bro. I think I'd rather play Bloodborne than uh, Dark Souls. In all honesty. Oh, fuck. Right. <laughs> he, he ain't giving shit about me. That's good. The fuck are you doing here? Damn, I remember him giving an item after you kill him, but I guess not. Oh well. Free spawn him and kill him again. Nah, he doesn't come back. But you can get the item later. Like there's another spot where they spawn, but And Jim really saw the future. <laughs> He's like, yeah, we gonna die. And then he was like, oh, oh geez, so. Fuck, I don't remember where he used the mystery key. X. I've got a lot of humanity. Does The Walking Dead even have nudity? I don't remember a single scene. I don't know, that doesn't sound like, like, doesn't sound like you're talking about Dark Souls to me. So. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I'm not talking about The Walking Dead, I'm talking about Dark Souls. Alright, bud. No. Got me a night shoot. Oh, I didn't read the uh, description to, for, for some of this. The Drake Sword. Uh, the sword, one of the rare dragon weapons, is formed by a drake's tail. Drakes are seen as under, undeveloped imitators of the dragons, but and they are likely their distant kin. Uh, the sword is imbued with a mystical power to be released when held with both hands. Then there was this, uh, Black Knight Sword. Great sword of the Black Knights who under Lordran, uh, used to face Chaos Demons. The large motion that puts the weight of the body into the attack reflects the great size of their adversaries long ago. They are ringing that shit.
Oh fuck, I'm such an idiot. Put it down, put it down. Too close. Alright, down here is where we find our first blacksmith, but I'm not gonna talk to him just yet, I don't really need to. I'm gonna go ahead and light the spawn I need to restart anyways, because I, I, I accidentally hit that guy. Raise the sun. I need to upgrade my weapons. Clean up my inventory a little. That bell is annoying as fuck. I'm just gonna throw repeat items in there. Stuff that I have more than one of. We can find another one of the NPCs. Which I will talk to him now because he's funny. against a wall, or a gate, I should say. The thing just won't budge, no matter how long I wait. And oh, have I waited. So, here I sit, in quite a pickle, weighing my options, so to speak. <laughs> still closed, still closed. Still closed, still closed. Mm. That's all he has to say for now. Siegmeier of Katarina. He's a real goofy Gilbert. I'm gonna look at a list of straight swords to see which straight swords I might want to use. It's very random, but... Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. Damn, the straight, the straight swords are not great in this game. Uh... I, yo, no problem. Yeah, the straight swords in this game suck. What you mean you got that dragon sword, man? The sun, uh, nah, but it doesn't scale with nothing. The sunlight straight sword. No, uh, no, man, just use it. Looks looks pretty good, but um, it, it drops from a particular every uh, weapon person. that game is meant to be used. Just it drops use from it. a particular enemy that I don't feel like killing. And then the other straight sword I would want to use, um, you get from like a covenant. This seems really lame. I'm not a fan of covenants. There is also the Silver Knight straight sword. Yeah, I won't be here. Whatever. I know what weapon I want to use, so. Okay. This is itchy. Eh. Alright, you know what? Actually, I am gonna upgrade my sword before continuing because I feel like I'm doing sure nothing to these guys. No, I'm not doing no damage. The weapon I want takes Demon Titanite, anyways. Andre rocks, he's so cool. The fuck's Andre? The fuck just happened? You hit him in the head. So, something crazy just happened. Something like absorbed into my head. <laughs> I got an Estus flask. I don't know what happened. I just got a eleventh one. Who dies? Nice. Doesn't seek my air.
So this right here, Jacob, this is a firekeeper soul. And if you if you found this here and you ate it, then that's like one flask upgrade that you can't uh you can't actually I use. I didn't eat that shit. I kept all that crap. And they love feet, huh? Fuck's this guy? If this shit takes you all the way back to Firelink Shrine. Yep. It's awesome. I love this thing. I hate it. Why don't you go ahead and, go ahead and hop in that bird's nest? Have some fun. I'm actually going to go ahead and pick this up. Undead Asylum, floor 2, west key. <laughs> what a weird effect. You can tell they designed that room down there to have that, like, beam of light coming in before they actually, uh, fucking made the area. Ooh. That's so scary, I thought I was gonna die. Go ahead and come here because there's stuff. Six homeward bones, very helpful. Morning star and the talisman. Day talisman. Cracked red eye orb. Hit it because I don't remember this chest being here. Lloyd's talisman. I'm gonna run, 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 because I'm not ready to fight those skeletons. They will, they will fuck me up. I was on those skeletons for like an hour, because I thought that was where I was supposed to be going. No. You can lick my balls. I'm going to bed. See you later. See ya. I'm off, like, until Saturday. Yeah. Is your schedule back to normal now or what? Yeah. Go to bed at like 10. Me and you chat. I could go up there and lay in the bird's nest, but I'm not ready to do that yet. I'll do it after the gargoyles. Got some item descriptions to read actually. Um, I guess I'll, I'll read all these. 
Press set a bonfire to make weapon and yeah. It's not very unique. Uh bottomless box. A peculiar bottomless wooden box, its origins are unknown. Some deride it as a symbol of unbridled avarice. Any number of items can be deposited into the box, and items can be managed while resting at a bonfire. Uh Okay, I think this was the new one. I don't remember. But even if a hero found a key in Lordran to liberate this prison, would he have the means or the heart to ever come back? Residence key. Key to a residence in the Undead Burg. Simple, sturdy design of the locks in the Burg keep out unwanted visitors. This is a standard key in these parts. It will open several residences. Really? Several? Are there even more than one to open? Mystery key. The purpose of this key is unknown. It appears to be a basic prison cell key. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh... What if that gigantic, straight great swords? Very few have what it takes to wield this incredibly heavy, damage-dealing monster. A favorite of the Knights of Berenique. Never actually read that name before. Uh, known for their heavy armor and black iron Tarkus. Medium for casting miracles of the gods. Standard talisman issued to common believers. Uh, this medium metal shield is elegantly carved and painted. Although it is thought to have been used by ancient knights of the, of no the nobility, its defense capabilities are similar to the other shields. Oh, I don't think I got any new armor. Alright. Time to move on. We're not going to go up there just yet, but I'm going to come over here, fight these guys. Alright, bud. Well, now I'm stressing. <laughs> I had to. I needed to heal. I didn't think that fucker would start shooting at me. Right, back up we go. Fucking hate these guys. Doing this again. I'm playing like such a baby here, but it's whatever. I don't want to lose my humanity.
Balder. He's dead. Halberd. I like the halberds. They're, they're really powerful. Super fun weapons. I did not see this fucker. How? That guy up there. I'm gonna rest because I'm about to miss this last. I wonder what happened that gave me that 11th one. It's really weird. Just kind of showed up in my inventory. Are these other players? I think they are. Don't know if I want to summon other players. It was like a bad idea. I saw the summon signs in here and I thought... Um... I thought it was NPCs. What in the fuck? Why is he- He's not supposed to do that.
What is he doing? Holy shit. Guy is Wiggy Wendell. What's his name? when my attack dings on the wall from behind the enemy I'm trying to swing at. It's my favorite. Um, I'm releasing this guy from his captivity, but it's only to murder him later. Because he sucks ass. Yeah, his reward for, for freeing him is murdering the uh, the shrine maiden or the fire maiden or whatever. He's an asshole. So he's gonna die. Obviously, I'm going to kill him. real concerning because now I, I don't know what summon signs are, are players and what are NPCs. Normally I know. I've never died to these gargoyles but I've only fought them once after I first tried them. So let's see how this goes. I'm kind of nervous.
Holy moly. Solaire, no! Alright, I actually gotta be careful. Holy shit, dude, Solaire's putting in work. He's gonna die, though. I can't move. They are not supposed to do what they're doing now. And one is supposed to stay passive while the other one does range, but they were both doing range there. I'm still yet to die to that boss. Take pride in that. To win humanities. No boss over yet again. We get rewarded with a gorgeous view here. Just wait. Huzzah! Splendid. looking up a list of NPCs in certain areas. Don't mind me, because I want to make sure I didn't miss any. Their shit is impossibly high up. It's so cool. Look, you can see Sense, like the entirety of Sense Fortress from up here. It's nice how interwoven the map is. This is definitely their best, uh, like, I guess just map that they've made. Everything is connected. You can see everything in the distance from far off, it's nice. But, the game's a little overdue for a remake. Oh. Greeting. I am Oswald of Kerplavad of Hoon. Come with to confess. Let's read the item descriptions for this. Miracle of the Black-Haired Witch Velka. Temporarily auto-counter versus heavy da uh, damage. Oh, that's cool. For each sin, there is a punishment. And it is the task of Goddess Velka to define the sin and beat out the punishment. 
Um, medium for casting miracles of the gods. This black tuft of hair that serves as a talisman belongs to Velka, goddess of sin. It casts miracles not by drawing upon faith, but intelligence. Interesting. Ooh, these are pretty good rings, too. Uh, despite the dreadful rumors surrounding its creation, this ring is an unmistakable asset in its ability to help prevent bleeding. Despite the dreadful rumors surrounding its creation, this ring is an unmistakable asset. Oh, okay. It's just the same. Alright. Cool lore bits. Right, bye bye. Such a bozo. humanities here even though I don't need it. I'll need to do that later, probably. But I'm, I'm gonna get through most of these bosses first try, most likely. I say that, but I actually haven't spent a lot of time fighting these bosses. Like, I killed the gargoyles so fast my first time, and I killed them really fa fast that time too. So there's a chance one day I'm gonna go back and play the game again with a different build, and they're just gonna clobber me because I don't actually know what I'm doing against them. It's always very likely. Um. Oh my god. I guess that bell just rings forever. It's so fucking annoying. Holy moly. level up and then I think we're gonna go back to the undead asylum it's a particular boss we're not gonna fight just yet but um, yeah we're gonna go back so there's an item I want before the next area Sounds like patches. You again. Our futures are murky. Right. Well, what have we here? You leave me no choice. I was once grateful to you. Oh shit. Ah, this is our fate. So be it. Ooh. 
This guy sucks at this game. <laughs> he is so much stronger than me. Gave up. That he forgot he gave up. Sorry, I need you dead, man. I feel a little bad, but not really. And he gives me the ring of favor and protection, which fucking rocks, by the way. It's probably the best ring in the game. At least in my opinion. just gave me humanity, right? That's like the only other thing. Those weapons were scary because he was- the way he was swinging them, they were going through my shield. I couldn't block him. I've never actually fought that guy. I've only ever hit him off the map. So I didn't actually know what they would do that. Oh, well, Baldur Helmet. This is a cool thing. Baldur was the homeland of the Night King Rendal, but uh, it came to ruin after a great many undead were spawned. Ring of Favor and Protection. A ring symbolizing the favor and protection of the goddess Fina, known in legend to possess fateful beauty. This ring boosts its, wear H its wear's HP, stamina, and max equipment load, but breaks if ever removed. So that's kind of the caveat. But it's really good. So obviously I'm going to put it on. So now I can light roll with my full armor set. Look at that. Now I rest. Don't have enough to level up. Um. Oh yeah, we're pretty fucking stacked now. Is this guy still here? Yes. I forgot to read hit the description of his miracles. Oh, I will teach you. Uh, purchase items. Yeah. Great Heal excerpt borrows from only several verses of Great Heal. As a result, it can only be cast a stark few times. Homeward. Uh, would normally link to one's homeland, but the curse of the undead has disordered its power, re-erecting casters to a bonfire. Or perhaps for undead, this serves as home. Force. This quickly acting miracle inflicts no damage, but propels foes back and defends against arrows. Cleric knights use this miracle when charging into enemy mobs. Seek Guidance. Guidance facilitates communication between undead and their value varies greatly. Uh, a balance of faith and wisdom is required. Uh, heal. To cast a miracle, the caster learns a tale of the gods and says a prayer to be blessed by its revelations. Heal is the shortest of such miraculous tales. Uh, talisman. Yeah. It's pretty basic. Um, I feel like I already read this. Okay. Medium for casting miracles of the gods. This talisman is only granted to high-ranking Thorland clerics. It has high miracle adjustment, which, thanks to divine protection, it, uh, is not dependent upon faith. Very well. Undead king to... Heard that. Come again. Be Now we just gotta sit here for a bit. Uh, take a nice little stretch. Take a sip of water.
This armor is so ratchet. <laughs> Wow, okay, okay, we're all right. <laughs> we are all right, holy shit. That attack where they swing the thing around, a whole bunch is so nuts. back here but I'm not gonna walk over that because that floor collapses if you walk over it again that's just a bad idea um. That's as much as I'm going to level up resistance, as I don't think it's... It's just useful for resisting poison, and that's kind of all it does, I think. It's nice to have it at 15, but it's also nice to have higher stats, because I'm not leveling up resistance, so... Or higher other stats. It's vitality, endurance, strength, and dex. It's just so much more important. Oh, also... This might seem stupid, because humanity is so limited, but I, I don't really care. Big deal. It's not hurting me, so... I'd rather have 10 Estus Flasks, because there is there is a Black Knight in here that I'm going to be fighting. Oh, and there's this guy. I completely forgot about him. Nice fat roll, fucking idiot. Perry, let's go! Okay, sorry. This this is sad. This is a really depressing moment. Uh, let's read the shield description. Oh, I didn't read the gargoyle tail, tail axe either. Sliced tail of the gargoyle guarding the bell of awakening in the church in the undead church, uh, or patrolling in Anor Orlando, can be used as a bronze battle axe. Uh, bends dramatically during large attacks owing to its nature as a tail. Uh, crest shield. Uh, shield of a nameless knight, likely a high-ranked knight of Astora. One of the enchanted blue shields. Uh, the crest shield greatly reduces magic damage. I mean, I like it, so... It's a nice shield. I'll run it. 
Um, right, that's where we're going, where that item is. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay caramba. one spam uh always does the trick Iron Ring, that's what we came here for. Now let's see what it do. This Iron Ring was used to shackle the guilty. It is terribly rusted and faintly stained with blood. Those who find this strange ring to their liking will be pleased to find it easier to gain footing on poor grounds such as swamps. Yeah, they made that shit specifically for Blighttown. <laughs> Which is where we're gonna go next. But, we're chillin'. Out of this is the long way. Twenty nineteen, but that was four years ago. Black Knight might not be here yet, because I've never actually come here at this point in the game. I also don't know how strong he's going to be. There's a chance he just fucks me up. But, who knows. We'll see. Yep, there he is. He's not too bad. This is an atrocious place to fight him though. Country girls make do. <laughs> oh, no. Holy mackerel! One bait out an attack. We're good, we're good. <laughs> we live that. What a heavy attack, though. What are you doing? Get off that uneven ground. Tight night chunk, cool. I like that. Peculiar doll. I did it. Um, this is a key item, I believe. Yes. 
a strange doll in an and strange dress. There once was an abomination who had no place in this world. She clutched this doll tightly, and eventually was drawn into a cold and lonely painted world. Shit, uh, cool because it's one of the more important locations in the game. I would say. At least, uh... Two games later. It's important. Now we'll come back here later to fight the, uh, the extra boss, just in the floor. Just not right now, because he, he's kind of not- he's easy, but they add these little explosions to his attacks that are so fucking annoying to deal with. So I shall not be fighting it now. Come take me back. Woohoo! I finished my Sour Patch Kids. I hate these things, but I love them. They're so good. They're so terrible for you. You are just eating acid. I love this game, I'm having so much fun. I'm doing pretty well too, at least I think so. Somebody's snoring. Repeat items I can get rid of. Oops. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Everything is still there. That's really irritating, actually. Stop now. Only one more. But it's going to be suicide. But it's going <laughs> to be suicide. What's wrong? Get a bit of a scare out there? No problem. Have a seat and get comfortable. We'll both be hollow before you know it. <laughs> well, I've already decided I don't really care. I'm simply... I don't really care. He's so breathy. I'm simply cresting on it. What now? I'm not up for... Leave me alone. Try beating to a pulp. Yeah, it sucks you have to kill him. But I, I like having my 
shrine maiden. I don't actually remember. I'm pretty sure you need the uh, the master key to get to Blight Town from here. I'm not entirely certain. Well, there's nothing that attacks me at the moment. Yep. Rose posing. This guy ain't even hollow, he's just chilling. Well, he's a little hollow, but he's not like out of his mind. There's Albert down here. Hmm? Say hi to Albert, everybody. This is unusual. You have to sell heavy soul arrow, uh, soul sorcery em emphasizing power of fire heavy soul arrows, a more powerful but also slower sorcery, difficult to use due to a long cooldown and a limitation on the number of castings. Uh, soul arrow, elementary sorcery, fire soul arrow, soul arrows inflict magic damage, making them effective against iron armor, tough scales, and other physically resilient materials. Oops. Sorcerer's Catalyst. Sorcery Catalyst used by Sorcerers of Vinheim Dragon School. Uh, equip Catalyst to use sorceries. Attune sorceries from a scroll at a bonfire. Most sorceries have a limited number of uses. What is it? There's nothing to talk about. We're both cursed. I'm dead. But what's there really to moan about? There's nothing. We're both. Okay. Come back soon. Smithing helps soothe my. Don't let me wither away out of life. I've never used that guy as a blacksmith. I let him wither away. I don't give a fuck. This area looks amazing, by the way. some of the stuff I have. Some of the keys I have, I mean. Obviously no room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on.
right. Um, pretty sure I've used the mystery key. I don't know where to use the master or fuck basement key though. So annoying. Some vitality, extra health, always useful. Forgot about durability, dude. It's such a fucking terrible thing. Pick up some extra souls one here, I'll kill all the enemies. I normally would just run past here, but why not? It's fun. Killing goobers. This cape. Alright, can't open that yet, so there's like one more place to check and it's a pretty safe walk I don't have to really fight anything I don't think there's also dark root garden I could do probably about now but that it's I think that area is so fucking obnoxious I prefer to fight Quaylag first. Hmm. Maybe if I get a better bow, one day I'll come kill this dragon. Or 
certain sure I had the right rings equipped. Because this fight fucking sucks. This is this is arguably the worst fight they've they've ever made. Honest. I think it is so horrific. Cause like the run back is so atrocious too. It makes everything about the boss I'm about to fight like worse. There's a guy I gotta save in here, but I don't actually know where he is. Cause I've never saved him before. But allegedly he is here. Damn, I, I didn't mean to skip this dialogue like that. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, the sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I will rest a while, then return to Firelink Shrine. I have my sorcery. And I will be more cautious next time. Besides, I have an important task at hand. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I have... Besides... It's always important to hit barrels when you see people dead in them, because they always give you shit. There's somebody pitter-pattering. Majority, uh, wait, how, one by proper sorcerers who studied at Vinheim Dragon School. The majority take pride in having studied at the academy and look down on breaking the formal dress code established for sorcerers. Dark sniper, dark spirit sniper monkey. Oh, shit. Bro, look at his health. He's just picking on me.
Oh shit. That was fun. I feel I feel bad because I did I did just like spam the fuck out of him. But whatever. I'm not I ain't playing this game to be invaded right now. So Oh fuck. Come on. Draw you up. Get you guys out. Holy moly. Anyways, back to lore reading. Uh, okay, that's all the same. But he also gave me a catalyst, I believe. That guy was so much higher level than me, bro. He could have fucking ended me anytime he wanted if he would have taken it serious. Um, sorcery catalyst used by sorcerers of Vinheim Dragon School. Equip catalyst to use sorceries. Tune sorceries from school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this guy, did I look at what he sells? Oh no, he, he's not selling anything. Because I know there are items that spawn these rooms. Yeah. Mail breaker. No thank you. Will not be using. Bro, do you think people lived in these fucking like tiny ass rooms? Bright spot. Yes, indeed. That was very satisfying. <laughs> Let's read the thief pants. Uh... Oh, hollow thieves tights. Tights worn by hollow thieves. They stifle noise and help their wear hide in the shadows. God, sometimes I feel like I can't read. You guys can tell when I like... Kinda stutter. Show of the end, uh, lost of that. Nice. Beef mask and target shield. Cool. Oh, it's a shield though. I, I was looking for the rings. Or I was about to go look in the rings. Uh, mask of sinners. They hide their faces, stifle their voices, and hide in the shadows. It does not provide much in the way of defense. 
Uh, this armor made of smooth black leather is extremely quiet, a good thing for those who hide in the shadows. The leather itself is thick, offering a decent level of protection. Uh, yeah. I'm assuming these are the same. Yeah. Just read that shield. Right up here. Small round metal shield, four protrusions used to parry attacks. Small shields are always less stable, but landing critical hits after parrying is easier. The shield is specialized for parrying. That's it. That's all the description is. Sound, sounds special. Try a plunging attack. Gorast. Look. I, I'm fully for uh, not doing summons in fights. I think they're obnoxious, but I'm not- I hate this fight, so I'm summoning this guy to help. Because I know I'll just die here. He already left? Damn. I was gonna say hello. Yeah, I know, I know. Bitch move, bitch move. Fucking, I'm a baby, I'm a baby. I don't care. This is one of the only bad boss fights they've ever made. Like, legitimately horde. So, I ain't fighting that shit. Normally. It's just not a good idea. So funny they put two of these guys here, if you just attack this one first, this guy doesn't even know what to do. I guess you're out of like his detection range. Oh boy, bastard. Well, let me loot your friend right in front of you. Hood worn by hollow thieves used to hide a guilty countenance. What else did I get? I, th I feel like I got a knife. And it's knife. This wide single-edged short sword is the favorite of lowly thieves and bandits, primarily a slicing weapon, but highly effective when used for critical hits such as parrying uh, or from behind. Anything else? Standard small thrusting sword, unsharpened but pointed solid shaft can pierce through tough armor, can be thrust using the weight of one's body, and is very effective for critical attacks. Cool. The depths is quite the section. I actually like it. I think it's fun. But I could perfectly understand why you might not. I don't I don't like this first room because there are like butchers in there or some shit. I think they're really terrible. But curse big deal. I love this place. Unfortunately, they don't sell much of worth. Um, 
humanity is pretty big. I didn't know she sold po uh, purging stones as well. It's also very nice. Because if I wanted to buy a purging stone otherwise, I would have to go all the way to the top. Also, the transient curse is pretty cool too. Uh, what kind of arrows? Poison arrows and stuff? Cool. Unfortunately... I don't care. I only stopped by for the shortcut. Thank you for turning your back to me, the enemy approaching you. some shitty like bowling bowling outer oh fuck bowling alley pizza or some shit right now sounds good as hell just like not good pizza that's kind of what i want sounds like weird it's just an odd craving sounds good right hey albert is here hello albert meeting you under such compromising circumstances at least we both made it back unscathed yeah did you see them the three young clerics headed for the catacombs to seek kindling no i didn't it's the art of feeding bonfires the poor young girl sent down into a tomb what a terrible mission she is burdened with oh hello terrific to see us both in one piece and pray that you never go hollow Oh, hello. Tur and pre You're not gonna- I thought the guy sold sorceries. Drat. I guess I'm goofy. Hold on. I've gotta do some research, because there's a quest line. What the H? There's a quest line that I need to know about. Mm -hmm. Right. Almost done doing my quick little research. Mm -hmm. 
Right. I'm just going to keep this list of NPCs open. Because why not? Right? Griggs. Okay. Okay, I need to be careful about that, not to get too close to people when I click back into the game, because that's just an accident waiting to happen. Oh, hello. My guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. Fatty, oh my god, be nice. Oh, miracles, I presume. Anything new to purchase? Nope. Rhea is the youngest daughter of the good house of Thurland. Those young knights are her old schoolmates. But I'm not sure what to make of them. I'm afraid they may be a bad influence. Rhea is the youngest those but I I'm afraid. Come again. Right. The effect Uh Let's talk to Harry. Marilla. Marilla. Hmm? What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You might scare her off for good. Oh, you again. Don't suppose we can help though. We accompany my lady on it is quite a chore, but I'm just I can't very well abandon them now. Sense of duty. I like this guy. Oh, it's you. The catkins. What can one do? Rary or not. The guy's an asshole. Oh, it's you. We're to leave momentarily. The catkins aren't exactly my idea of a good What can one do? Rary or not. You are undead as well. We've no time to fraternize. I have my mission and you no doubt. We must not let this curse overcome us. Did I not explain the- Or are you so uncouth as to lack such judgment? By the looks of you, I should think not. Did I not explain- Or are you by the look- Oh, miracle. Rhea is the young- though, But Sorry. I'm- I've exhausted their dialogue. Come again. The effectiveness- Okay, interesting. Some fun facts, I guess. I'm pretty sure I can now use the Dragon Sword or whatever. Drake Sword. Uh, 96 plus 24 doesn't quite equal 200. Um, so, yeah. about to get uh, our weapon that we'll probably be using for the rest of the playthrough though, so don't get too used to this thing. It will not be here long. Uh... Ooh, and I'm fat rolling now. Yikes. Still fat rolling? Yuck. Right. We'll rock like this for a bit. I'm pretty sure the weapon I'm going to be getting next is going to be a little lighter than this, so... Something to be too afraid of. It's not permanent. It's just a good ass sword, I can't pass it up.
this. I'm going that way. I don't think the Capra Demon is a mandatory fight. I don't remember. I just like piece it together. I probably didn't have to fight that, but look at we ball. Yes. Yeah, I am now pretty fucking stacked. I gotta say. Whoa, 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 you're alive? Sort of so good. Alrighty. Large Ember. Nice. You can take that to Andre. Now there's this hole here that's a shortcut, but I've never used that before. And I'm frankly quite afraid to because it's a chance I fall down there and I'm just gonna get shit on by something. It's just an I'm not ready for it, is what I'm trying to say. Everything else I'm ready for. Oh my god. <laughs> There's that guy. He's our pyromancer. Um, be wary of fatty. I like the sword. It's nice. It's got me a sack. Uh, one. Ember required for weapon ascension. A large, high-quality ember handled by the blacksmith, uh, blacksmiths of Astora. 
Censure for plus 5 standard weapon allows reinforcement to plus 10. Also can ascend plus 5 STD. Uh, what? To raw weapon. <laughs> raw weapon can be reinforced to plus 5. Why? Why would I do that? STDs. Oh my god. Bloodstained patchwork sack by the undead man-eating cook lurking in the depths. Lurking in the depths. Two eye holes have been haphazardly cut out. It is expectedly, unexpectedly soft and comfortable to wear, but it is probably near meaningless in terms of defense. Alright. You shall carry on. See, I didn't, I didn't fall for the trap because I knew the enemy was there. I like oh holy moly was not ready for more a very solid weapon. Well, it's time to see where that leads, because I do I do want to know. Oh god, I can probably hear because I'm not running through the water. I do want to know where that shortcut leads because I've never actually done it before, so very I'm very interested. Feels like a mistake. Shield of the Savage Mountain Bandits, uniquely shaped with a large black spider etched upon it, has resistance to poison. Cool. I'll not be using.
man. Brought the master key so I could just get in there. And now I don't know how. I'm actually gonna look it up. No, it's cheating, but. How to access the bonfire in the depths. Oops. Sewer chamber key. Oh, <laughs> oopsies. Okay. It's right there. <laughs> Where's the key? I'll go around the long way, I don't mind. I like going through here, I get a bunch of souls. Plus I've got this weapon, so it's not going to be very tough. Redax, nice. back. I will rest at the bonfire, just because I've, I've got a lot of souls on me. I don't want to risk losing them. Try humanity. I hate these doors, because, like, look at them. They could totally all be, like, a secret or something. Ah, look at my arm! What the fuck? What the wig? Just making sure he wasn't gonna chase me. See, right now, because I got that key, or that shortcut door, I could totally just skip all of this if I wanted, but I don't. The AI acts so weird here. It's so odd. I don't know why they do that. There's a little trap. Look at that. Um... This is so damn green. It like turned the contrast up. <laughs> Bruh, the rat. Oh my god. Unlucky. Oh well. That's so stupid. I, I was trying to block with my shield, but it just wasn't working.
sad. I was doing so good. He just hit me so hard. It's because it's a stupid, it like, it's a wicked easy attack to avoid, but I'm just dumb. One time I decided to drop my shield. What's real odd about the rats? That they all have a chance to drop humanity. But they're fucking rats, right? They don't like they ain't got no humanity, bro. Damn. Is that happening on stream too, or is that just the game? Weird. Yeah, my stream is fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna restart it because I like having the online features. It was fun getting invaded. Cause that guy was that guy was chill. Wait. What the fuck is going on? Oh, it, it might be, um, a Steam issue. Yeah. Because my internet's just fine. Let's try to load up the store. Yeah, I can't. Okay, it's... It's a Steam problem. Oh, well. We'll play in offline mode for a bit. J just had to make sure... Ugh. I'm having such a good time. I can't believe I've already been playing for as long as I have. Like... Uh, four hours? That's just nuts. I'm never gonna trust the box again now, just because of these bastards. No box goblins here. Nice. Why can't the rat fall in there? That's what I want to know. This is probably like greatly damaging my sword or something. Oh. Yes, it is. Oh well. Weapon at risk. My ass. What? Whatever. Back to the longsword, I, I suppose. That's fine. It was nice to have while it lasted. Oh, 
will actually, I can repair it at my on fire. So I can actually use it more. Alright, here's where I'm, I'm in genuine danger now. Not this rat, but I hear the lizards. Shit, am I dead? Yeah, 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 back up. I thought I died there. of the flask. Bye bye. See, he drops humanity. So, I wonder if the rat is secretly like a human fucking being, like, turned into a rat. So, you know, within the Dark Souls canon, it wouldn't, it's not the most, like, absurd theory. <laughs> Now it's time to go down here. It's a bit of a trap, but I like it. It's just more to explore. Very dangerous because of these guys right here. Curse is a massively deadly status effect because if you get it, you, you actually get insta -kill. I've got to watch out for my invader. Oh, there he is. God, you fucking suck at this game. You should ham shield cut. What a pleasant reward. I'm terrified of these guys. You can kind of R1 spam him, spam him if you can get in, but you gotta be so careful.
Like, I don't want to stand in that at all. Back up, back up. I'm stuck on something. Okay, we're good, we're good. I'm gonna wait till he runs up to me, because they do that. Just then. There you go. Punishable attack. I have death. No thanks. <laughs> Back into a corner. Hello. Right. Not a fan of parkour jumps. Wait, this was here? I didn't even see this. How could I be so careless? Oh, I'm a really big fan of the Ring of the Evil Eye. I won't be able to use it much coming up. Also, once we were actually in Blighttown. But getting that extra little bit of health is extremely helpful. But we've made it through here pretty safe so far. Which I'm happy. to humanity. And here we are, back, back where we started. Kinda. I'm probably the only person alive who kills these things. I just don't. I don't like them. And they drop Titanite sometimes, which is very helpful. We're good. We live. We live that.
Nice, you're nice. I'm a good day to you. I'm Donald of Xena. I'm just a rat. This guy's such a goofball. I adore trinkets and oddities, so I trade for them. Joy. Yes, please. Uh, purchase item. He likes gold pine resin, but... Uh, these fa these weapons actually put in work, like the Crystal Greatsword and, and that. But look at their look at their durability; it's so bad. So I I'll never use those. Actually, I could read the description though; it's not a complete waste. A fully crystallized straight sword. How such a weapon was created is entirely unknown. The crystallization boosts its attack, but makes the blade brittle. The sword cannot be used for long, as it cannot be repaired. A fully crystallized greatsword, uh, yeah, pretty much the same description. Yeah. Helm of the Wise, a strange helm from the ancient land of Xena, birthplace of the curious dealer Domhal. Domhnal. Damn. The two horns are believed to symbolize wisdom. Armor of the Glorious, a strange armor from the ancient land of Xena. Okay. The many metals are believed to symbolize glory. Uh, the gold bracelet symbolizes a vanquisher. The inlaid silver ring symbolizes an explorer. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. Hmm. I'm well, that is a shame, but no matter. Come back again. Not every trade was meant to be. There'll be more in store for us someday, sometime. He's cool. I don't I don't know why he's really in the game. Right, I'm gonna come up and rest. I'll pump some levels in too. Just because I can. following me this guy at the end of that hall I could finally wear and use everything I want to use. Rad. Here we are. Right there is our next boss arena. Spoilers, but look at it. Like, you can tell. <laughs> so this is where all the, uh, the shit and piss of the kingdom filters through. It's where it's disposed of so it doesn't uh, pollute the streets. And if Blight Town is below this, you can only imagine what that environment might be like. Yeah, but it's it's worse than you could ever imagine. <laughs> but I play with a shield because I'm a uh, I'm I'm careful I'm careful Cameron. That's my nickname. So I get through it pretty easy. I've also boosted my resistance, as you can see.
and 15 resistance is enough to not get immediately poisoned by some of the guys as they do that. Summon Solaire. Or Solaire's questline, I believe. I think you need to. Where's he at? There he is. The boy. I don't need him. This boss is very easy. But I like him. Because he's cool. I don't think this boss ever actually killed me either. It's very, very simple. I forgot to look up if I can chop off his tail. I love how this boss looks. Also. It's so fucking sick. The gaping dragon. He's a rat as hell. Bro. Oh, it's because he's doing a grab, that's why I can't hit him. Nice. What the fuck? What the hell are you even doing it? Bro, your tail is gone. <laughs> Don't think that attack's gonna work, bud. Whoa! Holy moly! Don't kill me. I'm gonna cry. Right, now I run. I can't believe Solaire died to that guy. He was not very tough. Nice. 25,000. That's so huge. Let's see what he had. Dragon King Great Axe. This, ac this axe, one of the rare dragon weapons, is formed by the tail of the Gaping Dragon, a distant, deformed descendant of the Everlasting Dragons. The axe is imbued with a mystical power to be released when held with both hands. I can't hold it. 50 strength. Holy moly. Oh, I also got armor, huh? Uh, 
a sturdy helm made of iron, very common type of protective gear, provides a sound level of defense, and is wise to wear a sturdy form of head protection against arrows and other physical threats. Uh, armor made of a thick leather, very common type of protective gear. Yeah, that's what I'm really gonna say. I love the gaping dragon. He's one of my favorite bosses in Dark Souls 1. He's so easy, but I just think he's fun. He's, his design is really, really cool. I haven't gotten any, uh, any big souls yet. It's very interesting. structure is so weird. I feel like this has no business being in a sewer. This had to be something else before it was a gutter, you know? Hello, bye bye. Useless Eugene. What's his nickname? Look, if there was an item on the other side of this, surely I would see it, right? You don't have to run all the way around. <laughs> but I'm going to. That's so fucking scary. Yeah. Again, I don't know why I can't slide down ladders. I just can't. So we we will walk down our ladders in this house. Right here it is. The entryway to the place of legend. Let's walk past you for now. It was a big mistake, I should not have walked past him. <laughs> Holy fuck. I'm so scared. I learned from watching a video where somebody used weapons only found in the area they were playing in. And uh, they did that trick. That guy has like 1,000 subscribers and he's doing just the craziest challenge. Go, I'm pretty sure his name is Mr. Metagross or something. You should go watch it. It's a good video. You like Dark Souls 1.
disgusting Douglas. That's these guys' nickname, all of them. Every single one of them is all- they're all named Douglas. And their adjective is disgusting. that shield. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's like a party in here. Look again, I know playing with the shield, I'm kind of playing like a baby, but... I don't give a shit. I'm not dying to, to super avoidable stuff. Besides, it's not like I'm using it against flares, right? I did use it again. <laughs> I, I did abuse my shield against flares. What the fuck? All that for a soul of a proud knight. I'm actually a really big fan of Light Town. I think this area is really fun. It's a nice level of verticality that's... I think it's fair. And it's rather challenging. says the person playing with the shield. A lot of, the, a lot of this area for me is kind of just sitting and waiting for enemies to come to me because they can and they will. Come to me. As much as I want to, I don't need to rest right now. It's just gonna respawn enemies. These guys are fucking hideous. <laughs> Bro, like, what is your deal? Grab a scary. I really had nowhere to go. 
terrified to roll because, you know, you know why I'm terrified to roll. This next encounter is about to be awesome because just here, you know, these dogs, for whatever absurd reason, breathe fucking fire. They just do. I guess they just learn how, right? Was a skill they needed to pick up. But honestly, if I could pick up that skill, if I could learn to breathe fire, like who are we fucking kidding? Right? No, of course I'm gonna do it. It's not even a question. <gasps> Why is it like glitching? I thought I'll That was- that seemed a little finicky there. I didn't rest the bonfire, so if I were to- I can't homeward bone out of here, I'm gonna have to go across that again. Wretched trap. I'm gonna be very wary of- uh, there are, there are enemies that shoot these toxin things at me, and they stay permadead when you kill them, so that's the upside. But the downside, right, is that um, it, it fills up the bar like almost 100% the second they shoot you. Like if they hit you, you're dealing with toxin, and toxin is a no-no. It does way more damage, and it lasts just as long as poison, so it, it will literally take you through all of your SS flasks before it goes away. Holy moly. Clench my jaw shut. You guys gotta fuck with my vision here. I know where I'm going. And there's a particular weapon that I want to get. Because it's good. And I need it for the weapon I'm going to make. It's this thing right down here. I just have to make a perilous jump. Nice. The, I don't know if the, I think it's the Yaito. But, yeah, that's the Yaito. Does 300 bleed. Dexterity bonus. It's, it's a solid sword. I can't wield it quite yet, because it requires 20 dex. But, uh, Katana forged in an eastern land. The Katana is drawn from the scabbard at lightning speed using an Iaijutsu technique. The Iaijutsu allows the wielder to charge forward to swiftly cut down distant foes. I think it's weird that other cultures exist in the Dark Souls world. Because, like, let's be honest, the series is over, they are never going to be explored. We are never going to see any of the areas that we've heard so much about, like Karim. Uh. Shit, you name it. <laughs> All lost time, which is fine. don't need to elaborate on every part of your story always. Some things just are. That's alright. There's something running around. I'm going to wait for it to come to be. See him. Look at him. 
Hold on, wait though. I will I will read Shadow Mask. Black cloth mask worn by spooks. That sounds racist. From an eastern land. Designed so as not to hinder their unique form of martial arts. Uh, while it sacrifices defense for the sake of greater mobility, it does offer resistance to bleeding and poison, among other things. Perhaps due to the nature of espionage. Uh... Okay. They all say the same thing. So I'm not going to go through and read all of them. That hurts so bad. Bro, that dog, holy fuck, he did so much damage. I can't lose these souls. I have to get back there at all at, at any cost. Well, okay, at any cost other than my life, I can't die. That's it. Holy fuck, I'm so scared. Just when I thought I couldn't play any more cautious, I had to play more cautious. Well now, now I won't have to go down that rickety ass path, because I had to do a little jump there. And that jump, I've died in that same spot before, to, to the exact same thing, because that jump leaves you so like in the open and yeah you have that bridge to operate with but it's not good because you're getting shot at on that bridge so there's nowhere to really escape to there's no place to backpedal and, and uh, create space between you and your enemy what the fuck what just happened what did it like tweak Holy fuck. Yeah, let's not... Bye-bye. I'm so scared. I, d I don't want to die. Holy fuck. selling. Ooh, I'm so fucking nervous.
I gotta be safe. Bro, what is this pathing? Holy shit. Why would I wanna kick? This motherfucker does not have a shield. We're good, we're good. I'm not gonna go against that, across that, because that moves. But, I can go across here all the same. I don't want my back to any, any of these guys. Stay hurt. Heal. You know, probably don't need to. I'll wait for Crooked Kramer up here. Oh, just kidding. That's fine, I don't need to. Hold up my shield just in case anything shoots at me that I'm not expecting. Bum 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 And now, we rest. I get that sweet, sweet level up. Whew. I'll reverse hollowing. I gotta kindle it anyways. Want my flasks back. Alright, we're all good. We made it. We're gonna have to fight these dogs again, but who fucking cares? We're alright. The souls are not lost. So far, so far, no setbacks. is going on. Come on down. God, stop.
don't actually know where to safely get down. Okay, I think I'm good. I'm gonna try down here first. Um. Scary. Got too close to the edge there. Killed that little bastard, he's not gonna respawn. I'm not completely safe, because this is still one of the trickier sections in the game, but. I'm a lot safer now that he's dead. And here we have a cool shield. Eagle shield. Uh, great shield with an eagle design. Lightest and easiest great shield to handle. Great shields are very stable and deflect attacks. But one cannot parry uh, and it said bashes with the shield. Me personally, I am not a great shield man. Not a fan. For mid as fuck. Still hear another guy spitting at me. Which is just okay because I know how to get to him. I think he just killed himself. Hate to prey on a motherfucker's downfall like this, but we can only hope he did. <laughs> He's a rat bastard, so to finish. I believe he was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here he is. He didn't kill himself. Fuck you. And that's, that's the last of them, I believe, at least for the descent. There's a little area with more. What the fuck? this no It'd be very helpful in taking this guy out but what's need a more ranged weapon I guess I'll use the halberd it's not gonna look like I'm doing damage to this guy at all just for the record We will be here a while. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Normally that takes a long ass time. Damn, alright. 
I'll take it. We get pyromancy power within. I'm nervous to access my inventory here because there's something shooting. Oh wait, I can't actually see what that does, can I? No, yes I can. Pyromancy of Carmina, who harness the power of flame to actualize the inner self. Short strength slash endurance boost, but lose HP. Uh, excessive power eats away the life force of its caster. And like all dangerous spells, power within was kept secret for eons. Okay, what I don't need is my eyesight hinder. And it's not helpful. I don't think I'm intentional designed for this area. Please, for the love of God, let me see. There's that item there, and I'm definitely going to get that, but I got to make this descent first, just to be safe. Clear out any enemies that might be here, because it's going to take my health. Not a lot, but enough to where an enemy might be able to hit me a few times. Kill me if I'm not guarded. <laughs> Wonder how I get that though. Easier way down, or is this like it? Okay, this is it. Whip. It's just a normal ass whip. <laughs> See what it does. Or what it has to say, I guess. Not intended for battle. Virtually ineffective against armor and tough scales, but quite formidable against enemies with exposed skin. For so, pretty much people in Blight Town. Right? There's nothing else of value here. Down we are. Here we have our chaos bugs. If you hit first, these things are hardly a threat at all. So easy. I'm not fighting you on that though.
Uh, see what our flashy on has to say. Small curved sword, each hit inflicts little damage, but fluid chain attacks are deadly. The flashy on sharp slashings, slashing attacks, are effective against cloth and flesh, but not against metal armor or tough scales. Naturally. Um, though I got armor. I think it was the wanderer. Wood of an aimless traveler, made from sturdy leather. It offers protection versus wind and rain. Uh, coat of an aimless traveler, made from sturdy leather. Quilting. Battle comes with the territory when one wanders the land, and this coat provides a certain degree of protection. Must have for long journeys. Alright. Time to carry on. Fuck this bug. Okay, I didn't hit him, thank god. Carrying everything I kill with me is my favorite pastime. Get the fuck off! Okay, we're good. That these mosquitoes. Just for the record, I hate them, but they just keep coming. They never stop. What the fuck? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Bro, this... where this comes off and the rusted iron ring goes on. Why is it so slippery? Holy moly. Wait, actually... I'm going to get poisoned, but the poison is very forgiving. Like, I'm alright. I've got eight Estus flasks. I'm perfectly okay. What the hell? Where's the thing at? Here's our reward for making it all the way down. We get a dragon scale, which is good. But I don't give a fuck. So. Alright, that's the scary part out of the way. That 
is so rad. <gasps> yes, I fucking was not prepared. This is going to be the only area I'm not going to loot everything as soon as I possibly can because this area is really big and this area is really obnoxious. As much as, much as I do think Blight Town is wonderful. I don't feel like dealing with it. Not right this minute. I'm not even gonna fight those enemies. Because I do not give a shit. I do actually want to look up. Gotta make sure I'm safe, actually. Yeah, I'm good. I wanna look up Blight Town NPCs, though. Ooh. Holy shit, the guide on this area is fucking massive. Wait, where's the uh, NPC list? That's what I'm looking for. Oh, because it split this area into a bunch of fucking things. Okay. Um... Okay. said Sigma- oh shit. I was not ready for, to close that out. NPCs. Like town NPCs.
Hmm. Oh my god. Alright. I had to look up, I was looking at an NPC list for Blight Town, just, just in case there was any quest lines here. No, I'm good to continue. So I could kill these guys, but there's actually no point, so I'm going to walk right past. Whoa. Maneater Mildred. Now we have a buddy to help us fight Chaos Witch Quillag. This is also a really, really good boss. Cool boss lore as well. Everything about her is wonderful. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can't show this on stream, huh? Fuck it, we ball. Hold on, hold on. Relax, relax, chill, 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 chill. You did a lot of damage to me, and I'm not happy about it. Made it a Mildred, you fucking suck! We're not putting in work. She's such a bad bitch, bro. I wish she was real. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Why? Why does she do so much damage? I'm terrified of that attack now. That that is going to kill me. Oh, she's dead? What? When she... I think I barely did anything. Fuck you, Mildred. Anyways. Uh... Old Witch's Ring time.
Also, we, we will be using that fossil very soon. Of a homeward boat. But first, I want to come down here. I didn't actually know this was here for my first playthrough, like, I never- I never encountered any of this. Just a, uh, fun fact, I guess. Force Estus flasks? That's really interesting. Enter a covenant again. Of course. Let me try. Offer humanity? Yeah, no, thank you. Sorry, I need that. Sad. Goodbye, Quayla. Do be. I always get nervous when I'm using souls and there's a fossil in my inventory that I'm going to use the wrong thing. It's like some stupid misplaced paranoia. So I'm not like an idiot, I'm not going to do that. 
the part of me is like, oh, don't, oh, don't, stop, stop, stop. But let me, let me actually see. What's her name? I forget her name. I fucking forget her name. <laughs> uh... Let's see. Here it is. Um, ah, holy fuck. Uh <laughs> Oh my god. Offering 30 humanity? Bro, that is like so much. Do I do it? It it opens a shortcut to Lost Isolith. Nah. What the fuck? How to correctly get infected with eggs? Uh, mm. the poison mist and toxic mist pyromancy. Why would I? Oh my god. What? If you do not cure the egghead, th then after you collect 100,000 souls, it will upgrade, gaining more effects. The egghead grows larger. Your kick is replaced for all weapons by a unique maggot bite attack. This does minuscule damage, staggers the opponent if they had been kicked, and has longer range than a normal kick, but it's slower. What? I have I can't I can't believe I have to fucking give thirty humanity to her. That's kind of nuts. How much do I even have? Not enough, surely. Nineteen. Uh. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. I've got I've got twenty-nine. Do I say fuck it? Sounds interesting. I mean, like, I'm, pl I'm playing good as shit. I don't need all my humanity. Because I've got 19. I'll, I'll, I can always get more, you know? Like, I will, I will get more, in fact. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna look up. Uh, lost eyes. Or maybe I'll look up. Is the Lost Isolith shortcut worth it? Oh, yeah. 
everyone is saying no online. It's not worth it, so I won't. It sounds cool because it sounds like a neat secret, but it's just I shouldn't. We're gonna go out here. I'm gonna light this bonfire just because. Oh, I also need to put my levels in. And uh, maybe I'll fight ceaseless discharge. Maybe it's not hard. He's a bit of a gimmick fight. God damn. I'm already very powerful. How many, uh, shards? Not enough shards. Holy shit, I have no small ones. I need those. I guess I can buy them, huh? Because I'm pretty sure I need a plus 10 katana for what I want. I had, like, uh, the impulse to just jump off right there. Just fucking end it. to kill ceaseless if you really want just with like a trick but there's really no point it's not very hard he's just the uh old iron king but a little goofier God for I frames, huh?
fucking weird ass crab arm. What the f what the funny? Oh my god. Dude. What? Bro didn't hit me at all, not even a little. Or whatever, the fire's kindled. I can't believe he fucking killed me, He's so stupid. I'm here a little early, if you can't tell. So annoying. I think the worst part is, you have to get close to him or else he, he will do this wretched fucking fire attack. That one right there. I'm not fighting you here, though. Thousand souls gone. That's fine. It's not even a level, but it's close. I'm fucking heated. Whatever. Time to go home. I was gonna do it just for a little boost and some souls, but flew too close to the sun, I guess. See, one hits me. Fucking bastard. See, do I, I, this is the best armor I could even wear right now, too. At least I think it is. Just about. Oh, yeah. No, it is. Only lost one humanity. For whatever reason, the gold hemp black skirt is, has more defense than... His pants are just a little funny.
I hate Isolith so much. It is one of my least favorite areas in all of these games. It is just so bad. It's, it's not even that it's hard. It's just stupid. So once you, once you get to a certain point, there's a particular boss you can kill that... Um... He drops a ring that, that makes it super helpful to... You know, not die, pretty much. <laughs> but... It's a pain in the ass to even, like, get there. And once you have it, you still take damage from fire and shit. It's hardly worth it. There's no other ring I could have ran there. It's okay. It's annoying that the enemies have shit like that in their kit. The same and the same startup animation too. Like I could have known he was gonna done that. Granted, it was just a pure test of like reaction speed, but he like delayed. Like the the, the attack hit a little after he swung, so it was just frustrating. Not worth it just yet. I can I can go over that route in a minute. I just have to get up here first. Oh my god! To safely descend, so I will. Life. Draw him out. 
Keeper soul, very worth it. Wait, how the hell do I get up there? I don't remember. I don't even remember that bastard being there. I guess uh, country girls make do, huh? Where's my funny? the 16 standard arrows will be enough. I will just simply you wait for the timer to go down. At least they stay dead. It will bother me no more. Hello. I thought I just like glitched the fuck out there. God damn. A badass armor set. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! We we're too close to the sun multiple times there. Okay, only slight PTSD. Why is this here? Did I come all the way up? Did 
didn't seem very worth it to me. I'm just, I'm convinced this is a secret of something that I just missed, but... Shit, like, maybe not. Maybe there's, like, a drop-down section that would make you end up here. That's all I could think of. Ooh, actually... Torches tend to be a sign of something. Nope. Guess not. So sad I lost that 9k. I should have just played it smart, but I don't know, it was worth a shot. Not too upset. It's my fault. I do think that boss is a little stupid though. Here's our shortcut to Blight Town so we don't have to go through the depths again. Just skip all of it. Make sure nobody's coming up on me. I love when my weapon does not backstab. I got shit as a reward. Ain't that just the way? We're in the Valley of Drakes, which I've actually never explored this area because I went over and hit the drakes like two or three times and I, and they were they had a ridiculous amount of health so I was like fuck it I'm not doing this shit. I turned around and I ran away and I've never ran through it. This playthrough is going to be different though, I will. The fact that they put the Fire Keeper Soul right there is so villainous. Like it's something... It isn't. I 
I've got some item descriptions I want to read. Um... Firekeeper Soul. Soul of a long-lost Firekeeper. Each Firekeeper is a corporeal manifestation of her bonfire, and a draw for the humanity which is offered to her. Her soul is gnawed by infinite humanity and can boost the power of precious Estus flasks. It can be used to gain humanity and restore HP at the cost of losing the Firekeeper Soul to reinforce the Estus flasks. Uh, soul of Quilag. Quilag, uh, once daughter of the Witch of Isolith, but now a Chaos Demon. Special beings have special souls, and Quilag's soul contains all aspects of chaos. Use it to acquire a huge amount of souls to create a unique weapon. We will be creating a unique weapon, because I don't give a fuck about souls. I, ain't, I don't need them. That is incredible, I must say. But now, we have a new problem. It's noisy, it slows, and its breath is lethal. This is no laughing matter, I tell you. Damn, that stench. And I was really beginning to like it here. Oh, maybe it's time I do something about it. There's a stinky bastard about. These guys should be gone, yeah. Oh, he's here now. Hello. Well, I see you made it out. Yeah. I made it out safely too. I have my pyromancy of the Great Swamp, so I can use my magic with a bit of care. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I can share the spells with you. I think you have a knack for it. All you need are the materials. I'll be pleased to help you. Ah, unless you find the magics I've seen. Oh damn, I didn't actually pay attention to what he said. Oh, hello there. I'm pleased to see you safe. I'll be pleased. Oh really? But I'm cut. I'm pleased. Oh, I'll be. Yes. Yeah, one. I'm sure that here. First. Pirate Mancy came. Woohoo! From the Great Swamp. Now you're a fully fledged pyromancer. Well, let's get started right now. Okay. What does it take to level it? Does it even say? Is it free? It's just souls? Pretty sure I needed a plus 10 one for Quailana to spawn. It's just like war though. Flaming Fire Warp explodes on impact. Eh, these aren't. Okay, this one seems interesting. Pyromancy of Carmina, who harnessed the power of flame to actualize the inner self. Iron 
Uh, iron flesh boosts defense and resilience. Um, Pyromancy of Carmina, who harnessed power. Yeah. Same thing. Okay. Standard Pyromancy of the Great Swamp. World Fireball. Fire damage caused by Fireball makes them effective against corporeal beasts and undead, who by nature fear flame. Pyromancy is the art of casting fire. Produce flame, then channel it. Just as our ancestors did. The Pyromancer must be in tune with nature herself. My home, the Great Swamp, is an abundant store of nature. You will understand one day. It only takes time. The pyromancy has a, well, rather primitive aspect to it. It messes poorly with advanced culture, and pyromancers are considered rather unsavory. Which is fine, as I never got along with anybody anyway. So, for me, turning undead didn't change a thing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm distracted right now. I have some shit I gotta take care of on my phone. When I gave you that flame, I gave you a part of myself. Please take good care of it. Please. Got souls to spare, but I wanna upgrade my weapon first, so. Don't you dare go on it. Here's the guy that tells us the next part of our journey. I guess I'll, um, I guess I'll say hi. Why not? Ah, hello. Was it you who rang the bell of awakening? I am the primordial serpent, King Seeker Fract, close friend of the great Lord Gwyn, chosen undead, who has rung the bell of awakening. I wish to elucidate your fate. Do you seek such enlightenment? Sure, yeah. Very well. Then I am pleased to share. Chosen undead, your fate is to succeed the great Lord Gwyn, so that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anor Londo and acquire the Lord Vessel. Okay, Lord Vessel. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? Those who seek the realm of lords must brave Sen's fortress, a deadly house of traps. Many have gone before you, but none have returned. Fate has chosen you, but proceed with caution. Those who seek the realm may fate. All right, That's enough. Uh, chosen undead. Silly Samuel. I'm gonna run up to Andre. I don't think I'm gonna do Andre's section yet. So I just, I don't know. I don't think I should. Or not Andre's section, but, <clears throat> like, 
I don't know if I should enter Sense uh, Fortress yet. I don't know if I want to. That place is terrible. research because I don't remember. Ooh, the H. What the fuck? <laughs> what the H, bro? Get a, uh, a curved sword. Looks pretty cool, but... Eh, I don't care. Okay. My inclination is correct. I need to get the Yaito to plus 10, and then I can get the weapon I'll probably use for the rest of my playthrough. Um, but, in the meantime, I can probably start using this now, right? Oh, I can't even hold it. <laughs> Oops. What am I at? 19. Alright, just a few more levels then. Uh... I guess I'll rest here. And now I want to try and fight this enemy, but there's a chance he's just going to be too strong. I never, I never got good at killing these.
I'm doing well enough here. Bye-bye. So with each one of these guys you kill in the world, I'm pretty sure uh, the other ones that, that exist, because there are more, obviously, uh, they get stronger, so <laughs> it's only going to get tougher to kill them, and I kind of need them. We're going to go to Darkroot Garden now, because Darkroot Garden has got Moonlight Butterfly, and I want to kill that. I didn't know there was even shit down there. But bro, I just slid the fuck off. Okay. Well, I'm happy I didn't use any humanity there. Because I was thinking about just restoring my humanity for the hell of it. I didn't think that would happen. God damn. Anyways, uh, that demon titanite is what I'll be using to upgrade the, the sword that I want to use. It's the uh, Chaos Blade. The Chaos Blade is really good. The only, the only caveat is that it's going to do damage to me whenever I hit an enemy with it. But it's only like a certain percentage of my health. And it's pretty mana school. Like, I, I can handle it. I know, I know I can because I've done it before. So... I wonder how I safely get down. So the little key to this door here you can buy from Andre the Blacksmith. I don't need to buy it now. It's, it's not like an immediate thing, but look, there's a bonfire here, like back behind. I fucking, it, it took me to like the end of my playthrough to know that this was here. I knew the bonfire was there, but I didn't like know how to get to it. I'm gonna, uh, I mean, I could just trigger the ambush, but these guys are kind of tough to take out all at once. In fact, I fucking hate it. This is the way I have to wait for them to get out of the ground.
So we're gonna go nice and slow through this here because this place could be a pain in the ass. Past the DPS, that's for sure. I would at least be able to kill everything here. I just don't want to fight anything more than one at a time. I don't like fighting any of these guys. Come on, buddy. Whoa, that was an interesting hitbox. What is he doing? Oh well, whatever. Oh, you're dead. Here, well, I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. So they're all fucking up anyways, so reason not to. I like the elite armor, I just think it looks cool. It might be a little too heavy though, so I might not be able to even be able to use it. But... Ah. Could trade out for a lighter shield maybe? Ooh, this is already a very light shield. Damn. It's the pants. Clear everything but the pants, that's okay. What oh, a weirdo. I thought that plant over there was like a, a blood stain. I was like, how did I die there? When did I die there? I think I'm safe to just run through here now. I'm pretty sure there were more items I didn't pick up. Let's go along the perimeter, just to see. I normally run past these guys. I've never, like, thoroughly explored this area. It's interesting. This is an NPC, I think. 
Yeah, because I'm offline. Why is that hidden? That's so weird. I don't think I've ever fought this boss as a human before. I had no clue that was there. It's funny. As a sh as a strength build, this boss is uh, the antithesis of everything that I am. I hate it. It's so dumb. It's kind of cool, I guess. Oh my god! Bro! Not even a fucking boss fight. Do it again! Go ahead! This isn't the most riveting fight, but like god, I didn't think she would fuck them like this. Out of my way, Booker. Bro, she did so much damage. What a summon. You can go bye bye now. I can't believe how much damage she just did. That made a mockery of that fight. Tower basement key, divine ember, and homeward bone. Jesus. Uh, I'll go ahead and use a homeward bone. Soul of the Moonlight Butterfly. Pretty sure this probably makes magic shit. Personally, I'm not a fan. Moonlight Butterfly Horn. It's a spear. Probably an intelli- yeah, intelligence scaling. No, thank you. And the crystal ring shield. Which is... What kind of shield is it? This thing's kind of gross. Small shield. Ooh. Ooh. Well, you know what that means. Bye bye, soul of the moonlight butterfly. <laughs> I'm crushing you. So I can use my better weapon, why not? Don't have to level everything in order. Level 55? Yeah, a little over the damage I was already doing. Awesome. What else is there for me to do right now? I could go fight Sif, but I don't really want to. I've made a lot of progress. I'll call it. I had fun. 
Sucks that we had to go offline though towards the end. Oh, now the servers are back up. All right, bud. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Those who watched, I'll see you later.